doing what you want to do. Be careful with an X. Hello, Libra. Welcome to your reading. Super grateful that you've decided to show up. This is a reading for the full moon on Sagittarius. This is going to be a blood super moon, and it's also going to be a total lunar eclipse May 26th of 2021. And with that comes revelation, change, okay? A lot of stuff is basically going to go down after this moon. It's a lot of energy. It's very intense. If you wish to book a personal reading, please check the link tree link down below. And please bear in mind that the reading is not live. It is an unlisted YouTube video that only you can see and you will get it in four to seven business days. Also, I would advise everybody to read the disclaimer as well. So Libra, we're going to start with your angels. We're going to see what this energy, this full blood moon, what energy is bringing. Thank you so much, angels. What do you have for my Libra? My Libra viewers, my Libra soulmates, what do you have for them? What do you have to tell them, my angels? So we have be assertive. So there's something here about pursuing goals, okay? And setting goals. There's something here about that, Libra. Great Ascendant Master, what do you have for my Libra? What do you have for them? Truly grateful for all the messages. What do you see for my Libra? My Libra viewers, what do you see for them? Nope. Judge not that you be not judged. Okay. Sometimes help from the universe is going to come from people that we may not expect. So it's important that we don't uh, misjudge someone or even a situation or an opportunity because that could be the moment that we need to move forward and we have here come unto me all that you all that all you that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest okay so there's been a lot of emotional stuff going on here i see uh it feels to me like there's been relationship issues libra and i feel they're saying to forgive this person but to also know that you need to have your own space to retreat and to rest um it just feels to me like there's been a lot of chaotic energy here with a certain individual and so we're gonna draw the tarot we're gonna see what else for libra thank you so much spirit guides ascendant masters what do you see for my libra with this full moon and sagittarius this full blood moon what do you see for them what do you see for my Libra viewers? Galactic beings, assist me with this reading. What do you see for my Libra? I'm truly grateful for all the messages. What do you see for them? Do you wish for me to only use these two cards? No. Thank you so much. Truly grateful for the messages. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, so this is a general reading, so it may not resonate. Take what resonates. Leave everything else behind, but... We can see here with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Swords, there's a situation here that left you feeling stuck and left you feeling trapped and you really felt like you couldn't move. And with the Six of Swords coming in, we see you walking away from this situation. Even with this Eight of Cups, you're walking away from a situation. You're making your run for it, okay, Libra? You're, you're going somewhere new and you're going to a new place to pursue something else. You, you... You just, this this moon brings this energy of change and 
we see the full moon here three times. So Libra, your angel message is 333. 333, write it down, Google it. You have a hidden message there because we see the full moon three times. Three times we see it here. The moon, the two of cups, and the eight of cups. Actually, I think this is the earth. So we see it here. The eight of cups, the six of swords, and the moon card. So we see the moon three times, Libra. Now, if this is a moon, I'm like, I don't think it is. I think it's the earth. But if it is a moon, then your angel message is 444. 444, four, 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 because there's four moons in this reading. However, you guys interpret if this is a moon or not. Regardless, I would say 333 three, three, and 444 four, four is your angel message as well as being assertive. And it feels to me that there, there was stuff here going on, possibly with a relationship. We'll look at more tarot. Um, yeah, I, I just, I, I feel that for some of you, this may be the situation going on. You're leaving one relationship and you're going to a new one. This moon card goes here because it's like with this moon energy, you have an awakening. You have an awakening, uh, Libra, and you decide to go somewhere else and pursue something else. It's also possible with this Four of Wands energy that there was this idea or concept that you and your person were going to stay together for life and have this happy, fulfilling life. Um, and it's just not working out. And you're realizing you need to just head, head south with that, just to move on. It feels to me you're not even gonna say anything to most people. You're just going to pack it up and head out because, I mean, Six of Swords, you're basically making you're basically making the run, Libra, and it feels to me you're not going to ever look back on the situation. This was a period of time where you felt very restricted and like people were taking advantage of you. Yeah, we have the Fool. This fell upright. Um, we have the Fool there, Queen of Wands. What else for my Libra viewers? Okay, I think that should be good. The Four of Wands and the Three. <sighs> yeah, the Four of Wands in reverse. You were feeling stuck. You were feeling stuck, and you might still be going through that. You you weren't. You were feeling like you couldn't make a move somewhere with that Four of Wands energy, and it goes well with this Eight of Swords. I'm sorry, Four of Swords energy. You felt like you were stuck. Like you couldn't, you couldn't make a move? That is not Four of Swords, I'm sorry. My Roman numerals. This is the Six of Swords. Six of Swords in reverse. So yes, you have it in reverse and then you have it upright. So you are feeling stuck. But with this full moon energy, this full blood moon, you're gonna move forward. You're gonna push past you're gonna move forward. We have the Three of Wands and the Queen of Wands. You're activating a huge uh, amount of passion and creativity within yourself, Libra. And with that Three of Wands, you're gonna make your move. You're going to go somewhere else. You're going to travel somewhere else. Okay, you're you're making an escape somewhere. That Queen of Wands is showing you found passion, you found creativity. And the Fool is you just doing your own thing, marching to the beat of your own drum not giving a crap what anybody says or what anybody thinks you're you're going after you're you're doing what you want to do and you don't care what anybody says and you're not gonna uh put up with this person anymore it does feel to me like there was a person here that wasn't good for you guys again it is a general reading so take what resonates leave everything else behind but that's what i'm getting from the cards that you're walking away from some sort of relationship and into a new one. Holy crap. You have the King of Wands. Let me see if you focus on that. Yeah. You have the King of Wands. And then you have the Queen of Wands. So we don't discriminate. It's not gender specific. But when we see the King and the Queen together. At least when I see that. I am thinking that uh, we're seeing here relationship. 
okay? And a new relationship because you're walking into this, right? You're moving into this, this new, this brand new energy, okay? And we're seeing it clear as day here, King of Wands and Queen of Wands together. What else do you see from my Libra in terms of relationships? What else? Thank you so much. Truly grateful for all the messages thus far. We have the Six of Cups. So be careful with an ex. Be careful. Some Somebody is reminiscing about you and them. The old times. They're reminiscing about that. And they kind of want to get in there. And that's why I think they're saying be assertive here. Uh, with your feelings. You have free will. Uh, so you can decide what you wish to do, but an ex is going to try to come back in and steer you away from this new person, this new energy. Your spirit guides are saying to stay in this new energy. Don't go back with this ex, okay? Don't don't get involved with this ex. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, this in this deck, Ace of Swords, you see Upright, she's kind of trapping him and... It's like, oh, he, he's just like, yeah, whatever. But in reality, she has ulterior motives. And because we see it in reverse, you're walking away from these people that have always had ulterior motives or this, this relationship where this person had ulterior motives with you, Libra. And it's like they drown in their own lie, okay? This full moon really sheds light on everything in the darkness for you. And it exposes them. It exposes them and they're really left with nowhere to go. And that's why I think you just pack it up and you leave and you head to greener pastures here. You go to a new relationship. You walk away from this relationship and you go into a new relationship with somebody new. Somebody that's more for you, Libra, okay? What else in terms of relationship? The Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, Libra, you need to be careful. This ex... There's an ex here, a previous person, and they have unfinished business. They want to come in, okay? They're reminiscing of the good times. It could be this person, but I feel like it's not this person that you're leaving. I feel that this is an ex from long ago, okay? Uh, from a, a past previous relationship, not this one that you're going to walk away from, but a past previous relationship. And I feel this person... Uh, they have unfinished business, they want to come in, okay, they want to walk in on you, um, they want to steer you away from this new energy, this new person, okay, over here, and again, you have free will, but I would just be careful, I, I wouldn't pursue anything with this ex, uh, I would just keep it moving, and keep things going, Libra, the four of wands, yeah, so this new connection is very intense, very passionate, very intimate. There's a lot of love there. You both are really vibing. And I just don't think you should bother ever going back with this ex or with this person that you're leaving. It is a general reading, so if it does not resonate, leave it behind and only take what resonates. Okay, we have the... Oh, okay, so just like Gemini, you have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Pentacles. And you have here the Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands, this is a very intense energy we're dealing with. You could be dealing with a fire sign um, because we're just seeing so many wands here. So you could be having a fire sign or an earth sign um, because it's just the energy is intense. I feel like it could be a Leo or it could be a Taurus or a Virgo. Um, and maybe even Sagittarius I'm getting, but what I'm saying here is this relationship is going to leave you feeling very, very wealthy, very uh, rich, okay? You're going to feel loved, you're going to feel how you should have feel in a healthy relationship. Um, this past relationship with this person, you were feeling trapped or you were feeling stuck and it just wasn't good for you. And even with this ex from years ago, it, it just wasn't good for you, Libra. And that Nine of Wands energy. Something brand new, okay? There's passion here. There's a lot of passion here with this person. Okay, you're you're very intimate. And you both just hit it off so well. And I, I just don't see you ever going back with this person. 
that you were previously with or with this ex from years ago. I just don't ever see that happening. So let's see what the Lumerians have for you. What message, what final message do we have for my Libra viewers? Maybe this is it, because that was a weird shuffle. Okay, so we have our ancient future, Libra. And we're gonna look at the back, our ancient future. An ancient remembering is emerging. Seek crystals and a knowledge they are imbued with are becoming unearthed. Those who see a better future are not just dreaming. Their hearts and minds are hearkening to the core of earth-based traditions to bring through knowledge that will help shift this paradigm into balance. This card is imbued with activations, and you are being showered with blessings in preparation for a transformation. It may be turbulent at times, but you will grow and heal through the coming journey. You can navigate, okay, that six of swords, right? So you're you're navigating, you're, you're moving out of something. You can navigate a situation you have no experience with by being truly present. Integrity and intuition will guide you. So yes, this... Uh, current relationship again as a general reading so take what resonates leave everything else behind but this current situation with this person or these people isn't working out and you're going to move away from this relationship and you're going to go into a new relationship libra one where there's passion now like i said you need to be careful because there's an ex not this person that you're leaving but a person that uh, you know it's been months or it's been years and this person is going to try to come in. They're going to try to come in. They're going to try to steer you away, okay? They're reminiscing of the good times, the old times with you, and they want to get with you. You have free will, so you can decide that, but I would advise you to go with this new person. This is new energy. This is fresh, and it feels to me this is a twin flame connection. Also, with this full moon, there's going to be some turbulent stuff here. This person is going to get caught in their own lie, um, it feels to me like this person has been following a lot of people or saving a lot of posts on Instagram of people they're attracted to, or they have a lot of uh, pictures of people they're attracted to in their hidden album on their iPhone. That's what I'm getting here. They're, they're sneaking around and they're kind of like watching you and don't want you to do much of anything, but then they want to go do whatever they want, it's weird. And for some of you, this person has already cheated. For some of you, they have already cheated, they have already done the act. Now this ex coming back in, what do they want from you? They're reminiscing of the good times, but they're an ex for a reason, and so you need to be careful, Libra. You need to be careful with this person and their intentions and what they're after. Um, because it feels to me this person hasn't changed a bit. It's been years, but this person hasn't changed a bit. And so you're going to go, it, it's like you're de-evolving. You're going back to deal with this bullshit. And it's just like, nah, screw that. Go with this new person and enjoy that. Enjoy that intimacy, that newfound love, okay? This, this adventure that you go on, on with this person, okay? Don't pursue any of this past crap. Also, you might go on a little trip here, a little trip, nothing, nothing big, but just a little trip somewhere special, specifically with this new person, even. And yeah, so that is your reading, Libra, for the full blood moon and Sagittarius total lunar eclipse. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, and I wish you love and light. Take care.